Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and the administrator of Doodly and Toonly PNGs. I'm on automatic script and I'm going to show you how the template constructor works. Right, firstly I'm going to go to categories by clicking on the template constructor and then categories. And as you can see we've got two um, categories there already, story scripts and tutorial scripts. But to add a category I'll just show you how it works. You put a name in, like uh, management, say. Oh, I've got a problem with me. Keyboard keeps doing too much rubbish on it. So I'm going to start again. Management. As you can see, the E's not coming on. Oh dear. There you go. Management. Scripts, right. Now, I don't know why, but they make that they have put Spanish name, so you have to put a Spanish name in. Um, I don't know why they've done that because that's silly because you have to put a Spanish name in now I don't know the Spanish name for management scripts so what I'll do is I'll have to just uh, make it up as a guess I don't know so uh, please forgive me if you you think it's naughty that I put that but I didn't know what the Spanish name is so never mind but they shouldn't do that anyway really that's silly I don't know why they do that but they do it right um, so that's what you do to get a, a category on right I'm not going to use the manual script so I'm going to delete that anyway but that's how you put one on you can um, wait a minute before you do that you can go on like that and re replace it whatever you want to do if I find the Spanish name I can put it on but I ain't going to bother with it so I'll just delete it right like that. right so that's how you make create one and delete one and edit one if you need to then you go on to your script templates and I'll show you a script template I'm going to show the index in the script right that one it goes like that. The, the name of it is indexing listing items for other scripts, right? And as you can see, number one says ST location, which is the start location, and it says the example there in an Af area of Africa. The second one says build an example in castle, so it should be in a castle, really. Let's just put A there. Right, okay, so that should be in a castle, right? So we updated that. Um, Des build says, example, the castle was ruined, right? So right, I've got to get my glasses on, I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah. Third, the fourth one is character one, right? Char one. Example, there was a person named Sam, right? Fifth fifth variable is description of character one right so I'll put desk character one uh, example Roger was very handsome and strong the handsome and strong being the variable right and De gen character one is example John was a man man being the variable and number seven is description start location so example it was deep dark darkest area of Peru or whatever uh, obviously it's going to say deepest darkest area of Africa in the thing which is the formula right so what you need to do is once you've made the vari the variables up like all you do is just add a variable right and it comes up with the stuff for it which I'll show you in a moment but let me show you what happens to it right so somewhere in the deepest darkest area of which is that one and then start location Africa 
comma in a there's build one which is ruined build one which is castle so in a ruined castle there was a Jen Char one which is man there was a man called Char one which is Sam Sam was a handsome and strong man right that so that works right doesn't it right so let's just show you that first right, so we save that like that right and then we can go to create a script and show you how that creates a script right so we go let's put uh, Danny as the name right of, of the script so somebody named Danny wants a script so we do that right okay so now we go down to personal template go to story scripts go to indexing the script and there it shows you the template preview what it what it did say somewhere in the deepest darkest area of Africa in a ruined castle there was a man called Sam Sam was a handsome and strong man all right now you can go with that one so you do yet yeah, that's fine you now you can fill it with temp examples and it'll come up with what you've just read and you can save save that script if you want to or you can make your own script so start location say Australia and the building is a ranch and it is wooden dilapidated and old right I haven't spelt that right yeah right character one is Danny and he's old and frail hold on I've done that wrong you can't put you got to put not capitals on most of it except for the names of course so I need to change the ranch to small R Australia's okay wooden dilapidated oh, I need to put uh, what's it there yeah and old and frail uh, man uh, oh. man right and description of the what is it now um, swampy area of the out back yeah that sounds right save that okay create script and there's there's the one we've just created which is somewhere in the sw swampy area of the outback and that should be in Australia so we need to put that on the thingy eh? in a wooden dilapidated and old ranch there was a man called Danny Danny was a old instead of an old so that's the sort of thing you'd have to do but the mouse on it worked pretty well so you got Danny in there twice so if you had a longer story and you had that Danny in, you wouldn't have to do it all the while it would be all put in for you after so that makes that pretty good right so that's how you do a script but let's show you how you add the variables right so let's go back into the template constructor and look at the script template um, the detective story script template right, so we'll go in that one right so now there is a detective name detective right I'm just going to add that add another variable to that right say so, um, there's detective so that's the description of the detective right so I will just copy that again and put that over here paste and then put
I didn't do. Put that in. And then and then you put in here what you want. So the deck reverse, tall, thin, but handsome. Keep forgetting to put my uh, commas in. <coughs> right, so that that would be there. Right, so what you do then? You say that. And then you could put for the next part of the formula. Oh, oh hang on, wait a minute. delete that bit okay. and you do Like that, right? So that would be that. And then you go save, and then what you would say then was there was a detective name named Paul Randall. Paul Randall was tall, thin, but handsome. There you go. So that's how it, that's how you do your they add your variables, and you know. So uh, hopefully you've uh, understood everything I've uh, explained here and hopefully that will help you to understand how to create a script how you want. So I uh, hope it's been useful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe to Tony's Music if you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.